Hey, what's going on guys? Blaine back from another Netflix review and today I'm going to be talking about Pele. Apologies if this video sounds really loud compared to other videos I've done in the past on my channel. It's a really windy day at the time of filming this video in my area in Canada, so if you're wondering why it's so noisy in the background, that's why. Anyway, I feel that out of all the videos I've done so far this year in my channel, this review will be the one that's the most straightforward. Pele is a documentary about who else? Pele, one of the world's most famous and talented soccer slash football players, depending on where you live in the world, depending on which term you use. And it basically covers his life story all the way from the beginning to when he was a child living in the rural area that he lived in Brazil, all the way to his 1970 World Cup win in Mexico. And it actually shows none other than the man himself giving interviews about all these things that happened inside and outside of his soccer career. I say that this review is going to be straightforward because there's not really much to examine on a critical level in movies like these. I've watched a lot of wrestling documentaries that follow this similar sort of style and it seems to be present in a lot of sports shows. It basically documents the person's life from their humble beginnings all the way to career highlights and then up to the point where they retire and this was the case in this documentary about Pele. I feel that you can't really critique something like that especially for someone like Pele who as you you see in this documentary was someone of massive influence from his home country in Brazil. He did so many things to elevate Brazil's status as a country in the world view. Although I'm not a follower of soccer in any way, I was aware of Pele, but I had no idea just how influential he was to the culture and people of Brazil. From what I remember of the documentary, Pele put Brazil on the map for a lot of people who simply weren't aware of that country. And he used his status as a famed athlete in Brazil not just to elevate the status of his own home country, but to also elevate the status of the poor and trying to give them more social rights, which they were previously lacking. And the documentary does go into depth at the level of political upheaval that was happening at the height of Pele's career and particularly in the 1960s. Brazil had long been a poor country and they were just starting to feel proud of their country again once Pele's success was starting to take off, but then the military dictatorship came into effect and then a lot of people started suffering as a result. And there was a lot of fear of censorship, a fear of people disappearing if you said anything bad about the government, and Pele was one of those people that was regarded as untouchable in that sense. But even despite his fame, Pele knew that it was wise to keep his mouth shut about the politics that were going on at the time for fear of what might happen to him and his family. It is unfortunate that despite his status, he still had to be very careful about what he did say, but in the documentary itself, he does come across as very humble, and he gives reasonable explanations as to why he didn't stand up for as many rights as he should have. And I do want to stress that Pele does come across as a very honorable and patriotic man who really loves his country. There's more than one occasion in the documentary where he ends up breaking down in tears because he remembers all of these amazing moments that happened in the games that he played, as well as some of the heartbreaking moments that he had to go through in his life. I remember there was one moment in particular where he started crying like less than a half hour into the movie. I was like, whoa, wait, what? We're already going there? It just really goes to show how passionate of a person that Pele is when it comes to the sport of soccer, and I really love that that passion came across in the documentary. Of course, this kind of documentary wouldn't be complete without showing any of Pele's highlights in the games that he did play, and this documentary has those in spades. As I said, as someone who doesn't watch soccer at all, I really appreciated that they kept the, the length of the games in this documentary to a minimum and focused on the main highlights that made Pele, as well as his other teammates in the games, stand out as a team. A lot of his surviving teammates happened to be interviewed in this documentary, and all I think but one of them had nothing but positive things to say about him. And even though there was one person that complained about Pele in a few respects, he still held him in high regard as a player. Pele and his teammates actually reunite about halfway through the documentary, and you can still see that even several decades long after those games had come and gone, there's still a really big sense of camaraderie between them. And of course you can see that sense of camaraderie play out in all the soccer games that they show Pele taking part in. I knew that Pele was a talented soccer player based on what I heard from him initially before watching this documentary, but I had no idea just how talented he really was until I saw it and I was like, whoa, that was amazing. I think the biggest highlight that stands out for me in this regard was his 1970 game that he had in Mexico, and right off the bat, I think Pele was the one who scored the first goal in the game, and they do some sort of crazy technique in order to pass the ball between the teammates, and then ends up flying in the air, and then Pele just jumps up in the air and just 
headbutts it right into the soccer net. As soon as I saw that happen, I was just like, yeah. I felt like I was right there with the audience in 1970. It seriously felt like I stepped through a time portal and then just experienced history all over again. It's just incredible how telepathic Pele was when it came to reading where the ball was gonna go, where it would end up, which person would end up having it, what kind of thing he was gonna do to try to get the ball back. He was a really talented player and the documentary does a great job in showcasing that ability. It still blows me away just how much influence he had on the culture of Brazil overall. Maybe it came across as a little bit too much in the documentary and maybe he didn't have as much of an impact as the documentary said he did, but based on all of the interviews of all the people, the journalists, the athletes, etc., all the people that were interviewed in the documentary had no Nothing but high praise for him, with the exception of, as I said, one or two people here and there. So based on the level of critical acclaim that Pele has had as a player, it's hard to ignore the influence that he truly would have had on Brazil as a country. Even in spite of the military dictatorship that was going on at the time under Medici's rule, I apologize if I'm saying that name totally wrong, but even in spite of that, it's clear that Pele has had a massive influence on the people of Brazil. He kept their spirits high at a time of unrest and uncertainty when nobody had any idea what was going to happen to the country. He brought people together through the sport of football, not just within his home country of Brazil, but through the whole world in general. And he really could have gotten a massive ego boost from this if he wanted to. From all the movies he was starring in, the money he was making, the media attention he was getting, and yet he comes across as the most humble person ever interviewed on camera. He regards himself as just one other person in his team out of a team of many other people working toward the same goal of winning a game. In fact, there was one moment where Pele was competing in a World Cup and he ended up getting injured and wasn't able to play, and he literally walks up to one of his teammates and he says, it's all on you now, pal. I was just blown away at the absolute humility and respect that Pele had for his teammates, and it really made me appreciate him that much more as a person. I think anyone would enjoy watching this documentary. Even if you're not necessarily a fan of soccer slash football, I think you'll still get something out of this. If I were to nitpick about one thing, I would say that it focuses a lot about the history of Brazil, a little bit too much when it should be focusing more on Pele's side of things, but overall, I still thought it was a fascinating watch. There's lots of interviews, lots of archival footage to look back on, and of course, there's all kinds of soccer footage. It mostly focuses on the highlights, so if you don't want to sit through entire soccer games, you don't have to worry about it here. That's not the case for this film. Pele came across to me as one of the most humble and respectful people that I ever met, and I loved seeing all the people talk about how amazing he was as a person, and I would love to see more documentaries like these being made in the future. I used to be one of those people that didn't really get how popular sports were, and didn't understand how people would lose their minds over a simple goal, but now, after watching this documentary and seeing how passionate everyone was about Pele, I think I get it just a little bit more now. If you want a documentary where you can laugh, cry, be entertained, and be absolutely inspired by, you cannot go wrong with this movie. Anyways guys, that's going to be my review of Pele. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, stay tuned for the next part, where next time I review another Indonesian romance, Giz and Anne. Bye-bye.